for us. With Too long ago. Hi, Francois. Also, the sound is probably terrible. bad. You'll have to deal with it today. Sorry about that. I'll fix as much of it as I can in editing. We don't have my lavalier mic actually working today. So, what Kat just did is what most people do when doing slow work. My turn. Tick, tack, tick, tack, tick, tack, pop, pop, pop. Oh, what was wrong with that? Well, if you watch closely, you'll see that I'm speeding up and slowing down and speeding up and slowing down and speeding up and slowing down. This is not slow work. This is speedy uppy slowy downy work. It teaches you nothing. So for example, if I cut a cat and she throws her a post at me and I do speedy uppy slowy downy, you saw how I sped up? It's no good. I learned nothing from this, as opposed to this. Now, we're compressed for space, so a couple of these actions were sort of fencing stupid. We take care of that on camera. It's you know one of those things that happens when you film, no big deal. But did you notice the difference between the way I moved? There was nothing staccato to my movements. So I'll start the gun again. So if I'm here and I start doing this, and screw that last part up because I didn't want to hit the furniture, notice my speed's significantly more consistent. This is important. When you're doing slow work, you want to move slowly enough that you are aware of what you're doing when you're doing it. Now, did I win this? No, because we're doing slow work. And the goal is for her to realize, okay, if I'm in that profiled stance, I need a different block, and me to realize, what fresh abomination did I just do with this wrist in order to supposedly make a false edge cut that's gonna get me into stabbing? I should have done that to get her blade up. I did not. And if I move slowly and with consistent tempo, I will realize, oh, hey, do I like tendonitis? Do I want tendonitis to be my friend? No, I don't. Go away. That's what real slow work is. Slow work has a beautiful reputation in some martial arts and a real crap reputation in other martial arts. And this is why. I cannot tell you how many people I have worked with who do not know when they are speeding up and slowing down. Folks who have sworn up and down that they're keeping the same consistent speed, but you put them under even a teeny tiny amount of pressure and it turns out they're not. They have the ah, panic reflex kicking in or they're thinking, what's my movement? What's my movement? What's my movement? As opposed to how am I forming the movements that I'm performing? And that's where slow work gives you. It gives you a chance to practice cleaning up your form. Not that you'd have just known it from our example. We've got a low ceiling and constrained space. Okay? So, is slow work useful? Hell yes, do it. Is slow work going to help you if it's actually speedy uppy, slowy downy work? <laughs> Trademark. No. No, it will not. All right, have fun. Go do the thing. Consistent speedly. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing.